welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a favorites video. I haven't done one of these in... Actually, this could be my very first one. So, welcome to my very first favorites video for April of 2022. Again, if you haven't already, feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I hope you guys enjoy my content, and I always appreciate all of your love and support. Um, I also want to say really quickly that it's a really busy day outside, so I do apologize if you guys hear a lot of noise. I happen to live by a really busy street, and um, there's nothing I can really do about that. So I do apologize. I'm definitely going to try to talk a little bit louder so you guys can hear me. I do have a few items that I really want to share with you guys. Now, this list is kind of all over the place. It's really just a... It's, it's kind of a list of everything that... Like I said, it's... A crazy busy day. So yeah, this list is actually going to be a list of everything that I kind of use during my day-to-day -day routine. Some of it is common items and then some of it is like not so common items. Um, I have my phone here which I'm actually going to use to pull up my list because I actually um, created a blog post on my blog that is a little bit more in-depth of like my favorite so again as i always mention in my videos if you like this video um i do do my best to kind of make a blog post about this video um so you can definitely check out my blog at saritaslife.com which you can find the link in the description below so let me pull up the blog post so i can kind of go from there all right so number one on my list early in the month i actually ran out of face oil and so for anyone who has watched some of my vlogs you guys know that i really like to take care of my skin and really make sure that i'm like you know keep it moisturized and clean. Um, and so early in the month, I had to go to Ross, which is a local retail store that kind of sells a little bit of everything. Um, and so every now and then I like to go there and, and check out to see what they have in their inventory stock. And so I actually came across a few items. Um, the very first item that I, I actually bought, which I ended up throwing out, which was a uh, tea tree oil. And so I never knew that tea tree oil has a horrible smell to it. And um, I think it wasn't the first time that I used tea tree oil, but I think the first time I used it, it was actually a blend of different oils. So it wasn't just tea tree oil in itself. My goodness, that is really hard to say. Um, but I think this was just like pure tea tree oil and it just smelled horrible. Um, I tried using it and overnight I couldn't sleep because I kept waking up because of how bad it smelled and I am extremely sensitive to smells. I really hate anything that smells too harsh because I am just so sensitive and I'll easily get a headache. Like I can't even really tolerate candles or incense for that matter just because of how sensitive I am to smells. I don't know why. So yeah, I actually ended up having to throw that out because I could not use it. So I ended up going back to Ross and um, I ended up looking for some more items and I actually came across a few items from a company called Morgan Miller. And I got um, rosehip facial oil and also vitamin C facial oil, but I actually thought the vitamins, okay, so this is what they look like. They have a yellow tint to it. And they're actually a really decent size, honestly. Um, I've actually, um, I really find that a little goes a long way and, I, and the oil is very thin so I find that my skin absorbs it really easily. It just absolutely loves it. It practically drinks it up and so um, I really like the vitamin C oil. However, I do kind of wish that the bottle was a little bit darker because from my understanding, vitamin C is very sensitive to light. Um, so in order for you to get the most out of it, it's really best to use a bottle that is darker. So. Um, I'm not really sure why they used a clear bottle for this. I think maybe just for like it to kind of look like it's a set. They wanted to kind of like make it all uniform. But I think um, the fact that this has vitamin C oil, it would have been nice for this to be a darker bottle just to kind of give me an ease of mind that over time it's not going to expire or I don't have to worry about it not doing its job. So I got the vitamin C oil, which also says that it has shea butter in it and olive oil, which I really appreciate because olive oil is really good and as well as shea butter. And then this one actually is my favorite amongst the two because this is um, great for even out the skin tone and it also diminishes fine lines, but it also has um, rosemary in it, which is really great for fighting uh, radicals and all of that. But the main reason why I like this is because it actually has lavender in it, which as you guys know, I absolutely love lavender. I am obsessed with lavender. I cannot get enough of lavender. Um, I know some people don't like it because they find that it's too sweet, but 
I personally love it. I actually have like a little bag of lavender leaves that I just like to get a whiff of every now and then. I also have um, Dr. I think it's Dr. Teal's um, lotion and it has lavender in it and it's like my favorite lotion so far that I've tried and I'm actually almost out of it so I have to get some more of it but I love lavender and this has a hint of rose but also a hint of lavender that I really really like to use and I think as you can see I've used Oh, actually, yeah, I've used a lot more of it. Another thing that I actually came across in Ross, um, which I wasn't really sure if I wanted to get because, again, when it comes to products that have smells to it, I really like to do my research because I find that I spend too much money on products that I just can't use because I'm too sensitive to it and I end up getting really bad headaches from them. The item that I came across is a product by Neutrogena and it's called Clear Face Breakout Free and it has 55 SPF in it and it's ultra light formula is great and it's also great for people who have really oily skin or who have really sensitive skin. I was really skeptical about buying this because again I like doing my research about it but I bought it anyways and I was actually really surprised by how lightweight this formula is. It's so lightweight that you can actually build it up when you do your makeup, which I really like and that's actually the main reason why I want a really good sunscreen. So not only is it really buildable, but it really does not have a strong smell to it. I don't get headaches when I use it and that's a major plus for me. So. It's definitely an item that I'm going to use much more often in my uh, makeup care routine. All right, so the next item on my list actually is a game. As you guys know, I really like video games and I talk a lot about video games on my blog and how video games have really been part of my life for majority of my childhood. So I have very much always been into video games and even now, like I still love video games and it's really a great way for my boyfriend and I, sorry, that's my phone, um, it's really a great way for my boyfriend and I to, you know, kind of bond with each other and just kind of relax a little bit more and get involved in games. Lately, we have been really into a game called State of Decay 2 Joggernaut Edition and oh my goodness, this game is not only complicated and complex, but it is also very, very addicting. And what, it's addicting because it's a post-apocalyptic game where you basically have a community that you need to take care of and manage and according to the different skills of your members, it depends on like the kind of challenges that you get and so it's very challenging even though I'm like on easy level. Basically, your job is not to only take care of the community, but also your job is to basically get rid of the environment of what's called play cards so that everything can be a little bit safer and you guys can build up the world so that it is a little bit more livable and a little bit uh, free of zombies. So we have been playing State of Decay 2 for quite some time now. Um, I'm actually, I finished my first Legacy and so if anyone has played this game you understand what Legacies are all about. And so I finished my first one so now I'm starting all over and so I'll actually share a clip of me playing the game just so you guys can see what it, it looks like and how it feels. Um, and so um, it's a really fun game honestly when you get really into it and when you upgrade your characters and when your outpost is doing really well and when you start taking care of all the play cards it's actually really fun in the beginning I was actually really convinced that I would not play the game after um, my after my community was uh, they got depressed and one of my members died and I, I was just so convinced oh my goodness like I'm not gonna see the end of it like this is so frustrating this is so hard I'm not gonna play this game anymore and actually I ended up playing it even more um, <laughs> I also like the fact that this game allows you to build a community um, you can upgrade your community um, with different features and um, you can also upgrade the characters and for some reason I really really enjoy enjoy um, programs or games that allow me to kind of utilize my creative skills. So I also, I think that's probably why I really enjoy this game so much is because I can kind of grow the community and you can literally see how well they do or even how bad they do depending on how advanced your skills are. So I highly recommend playing this game. I have another video game for you guys. Again, like I said, I love video games and I have been on the hunt for some new video games just because I do get tired of some video games that I have because I play them so much. But another game that I have is called Hoko Life and this game is actually a life simulator game. And since I don't have a Nintendo Switch, I have been really wanting to play Animal Crossing, but I don't have a Switch, so I can't really do that. So I found myself 
browsing on the internet looking for a game that was really similar to Animal Crossing and I actually came across a game called Hoko Life. Now I'm actually playing I think the early access version. It's still in the process of upgrading but it is almost identical to Animal Crossing. So if you guys really like Animal Crossing and you also play on the PC, I would definitely look into giving Hoko Life a chance. I find myself getting so absorbed with this game. It does kind of feel like progress in this game takes a little bit longer to kind of lift off the ground, I guess should I say. Um, but nonetheless, there's so many things that you can do in this game that make it entertaining. For example, you can upgrade your character, you can communicate with townspeople, you can build homes so that the town is much more lively. Um, and I'm still in the beginning of this game and I honestly feel like I've done so much but there's so much more to it. So I'm gonna also insert a clip of me playing it so you guys can get an idea of what the game looks like. But I would highly recommend giving this game a try. It's cute, it's cozy, I love the vibrant colors, I love all the different characters, I love the different features of the game itself. And it's just so fun to really play and if I find myself playing too many gruesome violent games, Games like Hoko Life really help ground me and kind of make me feel like I'm connected to the little child in me and just make me feel all nice and cozy inside. Okay, so I think I'm on number five when it comes to this list. Um, the next thing that I have to recommend to you guys is actually a YouTube channel that is run by Gemma Louise Miles and I absolutely love her channel. I actually came across her channel last week and I've been watching her channel nonstop. She makes content that revolves around beauty, lifestyle, healthy eating, traveling, um, she also is just so down to earth and I love her personality. Um, so if you guys have some time, definitely give her channel a check out. I'll either put like a video clip of right here or I'll just put her channel's link in the description below. She's now actually having a baby and so it's been really interesting watching her prepare for the baby and all that good stuff. So I really like her channel. I love her energy and her personality and I highly recommend giving her um, a check out if you guys have some time because her content is its so motivating and inspiring and I really like it when I come across YouTubers that I can just personally relate to. Number six, I actually have a keto recipe by a YouTube channel called Keto Certs and when I was doing my 20 day water fast which if you guys haven't watched you can definitely check it out and I'll put the video right here um, but I found myself just looking for keto recipes so that when it was time for me to break my water fast I would have a complete list of healthy keto recipes that I could go to and I actually found a YouTube channel that was completely dedicated to keto recipes and the YouTube channel is called keto certs again I'll put everything in the description below um, so that you guys can easily find it and check it out but one of the recipes that I actually tried from her channel which is just one out of the many that I really want to try um, is actually a recipe that is um, pecan sandies I think it's called yes Keto Pecan Sandies and I love pecan sandies. Um, I used to buy them all the time when I was little. They had such an amazing flavor, but now that I'm doing keto, um, I really need to be careful about like certain things that I eat. And so after following this recipe that I found on her channel, I made it and oh my goodness, I the first time I made it, I actually forgot to use salt. So I didn't really eat them as fast. Um, but the second time I made them, I added a little bit of salt because I don't have salted butter. And oh my goodness, I devoured them literally in a day. So definitely give this recipe a try if you like pecan sandies, if you're kind of steering towards healthy eating, I would highly recommend um, giving these a try because they're delicious and I don't feel guilty about eating them. Number seven is also a keto recipe. Again, um, I have been on the keto roll. So every single time I find a keto recipe that I love, I want to share it with you guys because I think everyone should try keto regardless of if you're doing keto. Some of the items, again, are just so amazingly good that you have to try them, you just have to. This next recipe that I have for you guys is actually a recipe for keto biscuits because I love biscuits, but again, I can't eat regular biscuits because they're not keto friendly. And this recipe is actually from a blogger called The Big Man's World, and I'll put the link in the description below for you guys to check that website out. Um, but these keto biscuits are so amazing. I have made them at least four times so far, and each time it seems like they just keep getting better. And also it's really interesting because I, I have the recipe down, but it's also weird because each time I make them, I keep making more biscuits and I don't understand how that is. First time I made it, I made six biscuits, I think. The second time I made it, I made seven biscuits. The third, I made eight. And then today I made them again because I was running low on biscuits and I made nine. Like I, 
I don't know if the universe is just being generous with me, but I just, I laughed today when I was baking them and I was like, wait, how am I able to make nine? The recipe is no different than the other times that I was making them. It's, it's really funny. Um, but these biscuits are absolutely amazing. They're cheese biscuits and they're keto friendly and they are so amazing, especially when they're right out of the oven and they're crispy, but they're really soft and moist on the inside. I really like to just put some butter with it and every single time like I have a nice meal, I always just grab a biscuit and I eat it with my meal. And honestly, it satisfies my cravings because I do get occasional cravings for bread every now and then, but because these are keto friendly, they're so filling that I literally like, all of my cravings go away, so. If you guys like biscuits, please give this a try. It is so easy to make and you're going to be wowed away by how good it is. The next favorite that I have to share with you guys is actually a song by Alina Perez and it's called To Me. Um, I actually found this song on random, like complete random. I like to listen to playlists when I'm working and so I think the playlists were on random and then a random playlist ended up playing and her song started playing. And I had to stop the playlist and really listen to the song and I realized I loved it. And then ever since I discovered the song, I have been listening to it nonstop. I love everything from her voice. Her music is so down to earth and relatable. It's just, it's, it's always awesome when I find new music because I like going outside and I like going for walks and I like listening to music in general. So to find good new music from all kinds of artists, whether you're a mainstream artist or if you're just a rising artist, I love all kinds of music. For me, when I find new music that really just gets me in a great, good mood and just lifts my spirit up and is so relatable, Oh my goodness, like the feeling is indescribable. But yes, please check out this song. It is amazing. It's by Alina Perez and it's called To Me. Again, I'll link it in the description below if you guys are interested. Oh, such an amazing song. And also check out her other songs. I have a few others um, that I have from her, but this one right now is just my, one of my favorites that I listen to all the time, like on repeat. All right, and last but not least, I have a favorite uh, that would only really apply if you actually live in this area and I say that because um, it's actually from a bakery and so April is a month, my boyfriend's birthday month and so I like to shop local because I really really like to support local businesses especially when I love everything about them I really want to do my best to make sure that they thrive because once I find a business that I like um, I go back all the time so I really like to support local businesses and once I found a bakery that not only makes a cake that I really really enjoy but they just make all kinds of wonderful things and it's not just like a one time thing it's always they they always make amazing food um, I like to go back so last year I actually bought a cake from them for my boyfriend's birthday and he really really enjoyed it it was a strawberry cream uh, cake and so after that point I told myself okay this is the only place that I'm gonna go to when it comes to getting a cake so this year I went back again but this time I actually pre-ordered my cake I did not have time to pre-order my cake last year um, because I didn't even know that I wanted to get a cake because we don't normally eat cake for on birthdays um, and so I found the bakery and this time around I pre-ordered it in advance and oh my goodness I, it tastes so amazing. I love strawberry cream cake. I think it's so appropriate because spring is here and it's so lightweight, but it's so, so delicious. And it's so filling too. I honestly had one slice. No, it's not keto friendly, but I think for a special occasion, like my boyfriend's birthday, I really didn't mind having a slice of cake. So if you happen to be on the East Coast and you happen to be passing through Old Town, Alexandria, um, Virginia, um, I would highly recommend checking them out. They're a bakery called Firehook Bakery and they make all kinds of good things. They also have coffee too and uh, yes, I love it. I just absolutely love it. So yeah, these are my favorites for April so far of 2022. I hope you guys enjoyed some of the items and if you've used some of the items, um, I guess, um, definitely let me know what your thoughts are. As always, I really appreciate all of your love and support and it would really mean a lot to me if you could rate, comment, and subscribe to this channel for more. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.